Hi you all. Hello. I'm here with my wife in the forest. We are we have come here for two nights and it's uh, great, fantastic. Finally we can get out of the city, yeah? yeah. Breathe uh, breathe some fresh air and just rest a while. Though today we've walked a lot, we've hiked a lot and it's a bit late now. The sun, well, we still have about two hours, but we have nothing ready, so it should be okay anyway, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you around the camp what we what we have and uh, the food that we've brought on that. And uh, so please stay with us. Don't go away. <laughs> So yeah, let's start with the food, yeah, what we've brought, we've brought food for two days and uh, for just for me and my wife, of course, and uh, I think it should be enough, maybe even more than enough. So we'll see, okay, so what we brought is two tins of uh, something similar to uh, Spam. So actually, there's no picture or anything, two different kinds. It's a kind of uh, something between uh, Spam and Ham, actually. It's closer to Ham, I think. But anyway, really good, and uh, one of these will uh, will give us a good meal uh, for both of us. And we have two, so we have dinner for two for two days there. It is a bit heavy though. Then we have two uh, pates. Yeah, this is mostly going to be for breakfast, so two breakfasts with uh, bread. Of course, I don't know if you can see any of this. Yeah, with mostly uh, whole wheat bread. Yeah, so we have a lot of bread actually, but again, it's for two days. Then we have this uh, kind of cereal that my wife uh, found. This one is of corn, some kind of cereal made of uh, corn, and you just add hot water, and it should be like, uh, well, like a good substitute to rice or something like this, as a side dish to the meat. Uh, we took this because we are uh, experimenting with weight. We wanted to bring as uh, less weight as possible. So even though the tins are heavy, but uh, we're still experimenting with the food and the amount of food that we can take. So, um, right, and we have some uh, crisps, or as my American friends would say, chips. Uh, of course, a good night snack, you know. <laughs> what else can you do? Hey Bob Winkler, some uh, bacon flavoured crisps or chips as you call them there. Not the real thing, but one must uh, make do with what one has. <laughs> right, we've also brought uh, an Easter cake. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, we had Easter this last Sunday, Sunday the 1st of May. We had Easter and uh, this is a kind of typical uh, cake that we have here in Ukraine, uh, Orthodox Easter. So we brought just uh, just a little one. It's... Uh, the smallest. <laughs> the, actually, yeah, the smallest. Well done, yeah, it is. This was uh, baked by Tanya's mom, yeah? yeah? By my mother-in-law, and they're lovely. We've had a few already at home, and they're just pff, absolutely brilliant. And then we brought, uh, actually, two Easter eggs, yeah? Tanya already ate one. <laughs> But she did, really. So, yeah, um, this, this is just a standard uh, chicken egg. And what, the, what they do here is they, you can get some, like, a plastic film on them that when you boil it, it shrinks and it uh, kind of sticks to the egg, to the shell of the egg. Many people actually paint them. Oh, it's out of focus. There we are. Many people actually paint the eggs and that. And instead of in the West that we have uh, chocolate Easter eggs, uh, here we actually have... Um, normal eggs, just, you know, painted. decorated, uh, painted, yeah, and... It calls pisanka. It's called what? Pisanka. Pisanka. Yeah, that's the, the name of this kind of egg. So, what well, the thing is that usually you get another egg, yeah, and somebody holds one egg and the other person holds the other egg, and you say something like, uh, Christ has risen, and you hit one egg with, with the other and the one that doesn't egg break battle. sorry egg battle. an egg battle yeah and the one that doesn't break is the one who wins of course nobody wins anything but it's just for, for fun <laughs> so it's like christ has risen and then boom 
between two eggs and uh, whichever both, cracks. Both edges. Ah, yeah, on both sides, yeah, both. So whoever uh, ends up with a broken egg uh, loses. <laughs> anyway, it's still fun though. Uh, not only for, for children, but for adults too, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, that's... Uh, but we have only one. We brought two, and as I said, Tanya's already eaten hers. <laughs> I actually, yeah, uh, yeah clashed my egg on, onto hers, and mine broke, and she won, as always, like every year. <laughs> so, okay, let's see what else we got around the camp. So, yeah, uh, while showing uh, the food that we've brought, uh, first of all, I also forgot to say that we brought 12 litres of water. Because though we have water near here, it's, uh, it's not so near, so. But anyway, while showing... Uh, while showing you the food, I said that we're experimenting with weight and with the food and that it's because uh, we are going on, uh, so I think at the end of June, we are going to the Carpathian Mountains for about a week, uh, week's hike. And um, yeah, and uh, we are experimenting on food. I mean, with which food would be better to take, the weight and some other gear that we have today. Uh, this gear is uh, unusual. Uh, to me personally and obviously to, to my wife Tanya um, and that's why actually we brought some gear which I normally wouldn't br uh, bring and that's to check, test, experiment like for cooking I brought gas uh, or isopropane, butane you know just gas for cooking basically and uh, you know I'm not happy using gas at all but I think that up in the mountains it could be very strict I mean the ranges could be very strict and I don't want to be paying a fine every night for, for, for a campfire, so. So gas, that's one. And actually, actually, don't move, it's okay. Actually. This is the actual stove, because I wrote a few, uh, a post actually in a few groups on uh, Facebook, and everybody was asking, well, but what stove are you using? So this is it, nothing special. Cheap, made in China stove, works well. So, um, yeah. So this is what we have. This stove and for today I've just brought, can you see that, yeah? I've just brought this uh, gas cylinder. It's 450 grams. Just again, experimenting. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try to do, to do all the cooking and that using only gas because I want to know how much gas we would need up in the mountains for a week of cooking and coffee and etc etc. So now I'm going to show you around the camp a bit, uh, I don't know, just to see, to show you actually and uh, see what you think. Up in the Carpathian Mountains apparently there's not uh, much forest left, so uh, I don't know if we'll have the option of uh, making a lean-to with a tarp or anything. So I've decided to take uh, a tent. Now this tent was given to us by my brother about a year ago and to be honest I've never used it because I don't really like tents. Now we have another tent which is bigger than this. This, is, uh, this one is uh, actually uh, 1 meter 50 by 2 meters 5 centimeters. And the height, well the height is up to my belly actually. Uh, I'll stand uh, next to it in a second to show you. So this tent was given by was given to us by my brother and I've never used it uh, and you know I wanted to test it to see how big it is inside and all that for me and my wife. Um, I'm taking this one instead of ours, the other one I mean that I have because this one's lighter. This one is 1.7 kilos while ours is uh, 2.8 I believe. So more than a kilo heavier. And because we, we are going to be going up and down mountains, I don't want to have the extra weight. So again, big thanks to my brother. Thank you, bro. Thanks. <laughs> right, so, uh, the height. I'm just going to move this a bit. Let me see. So basically this one, this to my belly to my belly button, yeah, so, I mean, I'm 170, no, one, yeah, 178, I think I am, I don't remember, 178, and so this is what, I don't know, I'm not good with heights, with measuring, anyway, it's not very big, but I think uh, it'll do, or it'll have to do, we don't have a choice, so, um, okay, let's see what else I can show you. Today we're staying next to the bed that I started building and uh, never really finished. 
uh, again, you know, it would be cool to actually stay on, on this bed, you know, put a, a tarp, make a lean-to. But uh, the reason why we are here today, or one of the reasons, is to test the gear. So that's why we're going to be using the tent and not sleeping here. But we are using this as a comfortable place to sit, uh, as a table to cook and to eat and everything. So everything's good. Everything's good. So, uh, okay, uh, we are running out of light. I don't think that we're going to film anything else today, right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, we still have to collect uh, to gather firewood and you know and all that because yeah we are going to uh, have a fire tonight even though I might not be able or we might not be able to have this fire uh, up in the mountains but today this is going to be our TV just the fire mm -hmm. you know, just to chill out you know make it all nice and cozy yeah? <laughs> romantic night in the woods isn't it <laughs> okay. Right, my friends, so we're going to leave it there for tonight. Uh, tomorrow we have all day uh, to go a bit of, you know, to do a bit of hiking and, uh, you know, practice some things and just basically have fun. And we'll make a continuation of this video. This is just part one. So, um, all right, well. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. We have to run because we are running out of light. Right, uh, thanks for watching. God bless and see you in the morning.